Hey folks, this is HKPSG1 Shooter. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all are having a great Christmas. I know I had a great one. My parents bought me a new GoPro camera for Christmas. So thank you so much for that. Uh, first video I'm going to make with it, uh, I'm going to show you how to hook up backup power in your household. So stay tuned. Okay, for this video, I'm using two identical lamps. Just standard household lamps, 110 volt. Uh, just for demonstrative purposes. Obviously, you could power whatever you want that's 110 volts with this, provided that you match the power re requirement of the device to the power output of your inverter. And so that brings you to the first piece of equipment that you will need. 110 volt inverter that runs off 12 volts. Next thing, you're going to need a 12 volt transformer that runs off 110. You'll need a 12 volt battery. Uh, deep cycle marine batteries are good. Obviously you could hook up a large bank of them uh, to provide more amperage. And finally, you will need a 12 volt relay with a relay socket. Pay particular attention to the wiring schematic of the relay as you hook it up. It's real easy to short one of these things out or damage equipment if you do it wrong. But basically, the way we've got it is we are running the 110 into 12 volts, which powers this relay. And as long as the power is applied, the relay contacts stay open, preventing the connection being made from the battery to the inverter. Basically, the ground wire goes straight from the battery to the inverter. The wire on the positive side is broken and the relay makes the connection. So now having explained how it's wired up, I'm going to simulate a power outage like so. And as you see here, Inverter power is running, and our lamp is running. Now, when the utility company gets the power back online, inverter shuts down, and our device shuts down. Say another drunk comes through and wraps his car around a telephone pole and knocks another one out. right back to our backup power. So again, this is a great means of being able to run critical equipment. Uh, personally, I use mine to run a fish tank here in my house, uh, decorate a fish tank. Uh, if you have a power outage on an aquarium system for more than eight hours, the anaerobic bacteria in the biofiltration system sits idle and then it dies and then when it restarts, your whole system crashes, and then you've got fish belly up in your aquarium. So this is a way of having peace of mind when I'm out of town, that if there's a power outage, I don't come back to a tank full of dead fish. Now obviously, your battery is only going to last so long. So if you're dealing with living in a hurricane-prone area, or an area where there's ice storms, things like that, that are going to give long-term outages, you really should go with a generator. But if you're just wanting a quick means of backup power uh, for just running a critical piece of equipment or just being able to turn some lights on in the house and have some lights when it's pitch black when the power's out, this is a great way to do it right here. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful. This is HKPSG1 Shooter. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, signing off.